Hi, welcome to this week's Thrive in Five. This week is a heavy, but uh, I know you're ready for it. If you've been watching me for any period of time, you know that we do business stuff, we do personal stuff, and today is, is really personal, but I think it has is impact on your business. Uh, but it's, it's really about you and, and how you're functioning your role, and it uh, is a whole concept that comes out of the Alcoholics Anonymous movement and the tremendous work that's been done there. And it, it's a phrase that's often used, and the phrase is, you are only as sick as your secrets. And I, I, I've been thinking about that one recently a lot in light of some of the conversations I've been having, some of the things I'm learning for myself. And I want to give you just a brief story to set you up in terms of what I want to talk briefly about. This is a really hard topic to talk about in five minutes, so I'll do my best. But when I was uh, a, a young teenager, I spent a summer working on um, actually my wife's extended family's farm. And one of the things that uh, happened, I was early into staying at this one particular home, uh, one of the homes on the f farm, and I was young, there was nobody else around. I went outside to the, sh the shed and I was kind of playing around and it was kind of a long extended shed and I didn't think there was anything in there and I picked up stones and I was throwing them. Why I was throwing them, I don't know, but I threw one and as I threw one a little bit harder, I heard this shattering take place. And I went to investigate and realized I had thrown a stone through a door that had a glass window in it and they were involved in a construction project and that moment all of a sudden happened and I freaked out. And my immediate instinct, my immediate desire for myself was to hide it, was to hide the fact that I'd done it. I knew it wasn't a brand new door, but I didn't know whether that door was gonna be used somewhere else. And so immediately I went into this whole deception cover-up desire, and I didn't wanna do that. But what began to un unfold for me was in the internal deception, even though it only lasted about an hour, the, the um, sickness that began to take over me was pretty evident as a kid. I, I remember feeling gross and actually feeling disgusting inside. And as I sort of decided that I would move from covering up that secret into exposing the secret, honestly taking responsibility for it myself, and then going and telling uh, the people who were employing me and the, the farm I was living on for the summer and to say to them, I broke the window, released the sickness and, and came back to a sense of health in terms of emotional health. And I think I tell you that story because it's indicative of what happens to us as we grow and as we become mature adults, we tend to be better and more adept at keeping secrets. But I think sometimes what we don't realize is the power of those secrets and how much they influence our emotional and mental health. And, and I think ultimately actually have impact on our physical health. And so I wanna just talk to you briefly about this and, and it's brief because this is deep stuff and it's just not possible to explore it in a five minute conversation, but it's something that I think really important that you actually think about and you, you actually uh, let, let this idea um, sort of breathe on you for a bit because it's that important. It's something we love to do is cover up our secrets or cover up the places or the things that we've done that we're not proud of, that we feel bad about, that were, were things that maybe were not appropriate, they were either mistakes, they were deliberate choices we made in a moment, they were mistakes made out of a situation that didn't go right, and you can name all sorts of this, they, from, from blowing you know, a few hundred dollars on gambling to all kinds of stuff. And, and I'm not making judgment calls on those, but each of us choose those specific things, and we determine to make them a cover-up, and we term to deceive both, I think, ourselves and others as it relates to what happened. And so, the first thing I want you to think about is what are the secrets you hold on to? What are the secrets nobody knows? And, and I would uh, really want you to understand that the most important deception that we do is to ourselves. 
and we deceive ourselves. I, I think about my own life and I spent many years deceiving myself as it related to money. I, I would not look at my financial situation. I just wanted to avoid it and I would not look at it. I would not deal with it. I would avoid um, balancing my bank account, uh, my checkbook. I would avoid understanding the implications of the debt I was in. And so what begins to happen is I'm deceiving myself and I'm covering up a situation. So I create this secret to myself. And one of the things I really encourage you to think about is be aware of the secrets that you're holding from yourself. And that's hard to do on your own. You often need an external party to help you with that. But I think it becomes very clear that you cannot be in an adversarial relationship with yourself. That creates health issues. And by that I mean emotional, mental, spiritual, physical health issues come from always being in an adversarial relationship with yourself. And you are in those kind of situations when you are not taking responsibility for what's going on in your life, when you're not actually accepting the reality of what you're doing in your life or the actions you're taking, the things you're keeping secret from yourself need to be brought to light in yourself. And I really encourage you to think about that. The second side of that is I think you got to do this first, but once you've done that, and it, going back to the, the farm story, once I agreed to myself that I had indeed, and I would choose to be responsible for the action of breaking the glass, and I became that, I was able then to become authentic to others who I had harmed, who I had hurt, who I had, um, had caused some kind of damage to. And a lot of times we're doing a lot of damage to ourselves and in other cases we might not be doing it to others, but it is critical that you become authentic. That is proof of maturity. That is proof of health. And instead of sickness, when you explore and explain and tell another, when you choose to tell someone who has earned the right to be told about your secrets, you actually open yourself up to health. And the other cool thing about it is you give yourself an opportunity to be accountable to someone who will help you do that. That's some of the stuff that I help people do. And if you, you need to talk about that kind of thing, feel free to contact me. But more importantly, I want you to spend a little bit of time and think about what are the secrets that nobody knows about me? What are the things that I keep hidden? What are the things that nobody is aware of? and then actually be willing to explore how they're making you unhealthy and how they're uh, creating sickness in you because you're only as sick as your secrets. I hope that heavy one helps and it'll help you to explore having a more healthy and flourishing life. We'll talk to you next time.